Welcome back everyone to another episode of Hearts of Eon 4 And the nation that we landed on today is such a shithole that Paradox had to buff them with 5 different national spirits just to be barely playable Of course I'm talking about the Sultanate of Ausa. The goal for today's run is to conquer all of Italy as this tiny blimp on the map or at least that was the initial goal at the start until things happened. In order to survive this initial war, we need to assist Ethiopia on holding the front line, at least until they reach the part in their focus tree where they receive volunteer units from the Allies, which easily deport the illegal immigrants, also known as Italians, from their lands. Once the white piece has been triggered, we are going to hold on to our mountain province and wait for World War II to trigger. That's when we are going to strike and kick the Italians from Eritrea. And once that we have secured ourselves, we are going to turn our backs against Ethiopia and attack them in order to get cores on all of their territories from our mission tree. Now that we have acquired enough manpower to build a decent army, we are going to bully Italy by slowly invading them from different areas, starting off by taking Sicilia from them, then Sardinia, and finally we can land on their mainland and attempt to cut them in half. But sadly, I wasn't fast enough, so I launched another invasion to distract them, and I secured my grip on southern Italy. At this point, my mind was blown since the Italian civil war did not trigger and I was playing on historical. I guess the Italians are racist and would rather serve under Mussolini than become puppets of an African nation. So I invaded them one last time in Venice and got so close to capitulating them, but with no allied support. I was stopped just inches away from victory. So I thought maybe they are busy with Japan. So I decided to clean up Asia for them, so that they could dedicate themselves to the European theater.
But nope, still nothing happened, and it got worse. Since the Axis decided to be competent for once, and started to reinforce Mimi, since my units couldn't join the battle, so they would only fight the AI's trash templates, and they kept on pushing me, which undid all the progress that I was working on for the past three years. So I started this new run. I gave up on getting any Italian lands, as I decided to become the number one hater of Germany and do everything possible in my ability for their downfall, utilizing the same strategy that I used beforehand. I made sure that if Ethiopia survived once again until they got their white piece, then when World War II started, I joined the Soviet faction and called them into the war. I swear a paradox nerfed the Soviet AI and made them dog shit. Like how is it possible for a nation that has more than 200 divisions to leave their most dangerous front guarded with only 30 units? Alas, the MVP of the sun was none other than France since they managed to hold on to their front line and even pushed into northern Italy a bit which gave me enough time to conquer Ethiopia after they, they decided to declare war on me. Thinking that it would be an easy war, I guess they call this déjà vu. Déjà vu, I have been in this place before, higher in the suite, and I guess it's my time to go. Now that I got my cores back, I upgraded my infantry template to 30 width and rushed to aid France, slowly pushing and making pockets wherever I could. shall be noted in the history books how the mighty and very important nation of Hausa stormed Berlin and captured it. And with that, the Axis capitulated, and I can't see a better fitting ending for Germany than getting split into four parts. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed today's campaign. Sorry for not being able to turn it into a proper world conquest, since I'm in the middle of my finals. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing, and until next time, this has been Kaguya. Have a wonderful day or evening and goodbye. Bye, have a beautiful time.